Eve at Finish Kitchen. So let's check in with Leanne and Glenn. Now that we've completed our finish coat, it's time for cleanup. If you get any excess or drips, you just want to clean it up with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and water. That way it looks like new. Now when it comes to the countertop, that's the next thing that we're going to be tackling on our DIY project list. If you remember before, we had some issues with the seam where it was really bubbled, but Glenn has stepped in and already helped with the process. That's right. I've sanded it using an orbital sander. That way I make sure everything is nice and level. I'm going to finish it off by filling it with an epoxy grout and make it look like new. Once that's dry, we're then going to start a three-step process very similar to the backsplash to add a paint finish specifically designed for countertops. But as for the color, well, you're going to have to wait and see. It's amazing what you can do with just a little bit of elbow grease and a very modest budget. This kitchen has undergone quite the transformation and now it feels so fresh and has also added tremendous value to the home overall. Now the countertops are now complete and if you come nice and close, you can see in the painted finish there's a beautiful little sparkly detail. I specifically chose the black finish for one very good reason. Their cooktop is already black, so now we have a very seamless flow throughout the entire countertop surface. Black counters, gray backsplash, white cabinets, we've neutralized the entire space with a great achromatic color scheme overall, and even neutralized the original oiled bronze hardware by just giving it a quick spray paint of black. Just like dressing your body, you gotta work with what you've got, and that's exactly what we did here in this kitchen. And Leanne joins us live in studio. Man, are you the DIY queen? Oh, I try. Oh, you did such a good job, and I can't wait until people hear how much that kitchen actually uh, cost. Yes. We actually threw it out on social media to show us your absolute worst kitchens. Like yes. just the kitchens you <laughs> to keep think, it real. Keep Hashtag it real. City Line real, right? We are all about keeping it real on City Line, and I love the fact that everyone is jumping in and they being are. really totally real about what's going on. So you chose a couple of kitchens. There were that two, two standout kitchens. Now the idea here wasn't just to like out people and say, oh your kitchen's terrible. No. That wasn't the point. <laughs> it was, I was looking for kitchens that had massive potential mm. that could be transformed with a very small budget. Like so that. So we found two and I wanted to highlight them to share with viewers at home because a lot of people live with kitchens just like these. This yeah. first one, um, this is Nisi Davis's kitchen, was sent in via Twitter. It's very kind of country looking. Yeah. So here's my tip with this. If you already have a kitchen that's kind of defined in a style, work with it, not against it, if you're doing a facelift. If you're doing a full gut, you can do a dream kitchen baby you can do anything you want but work with that kind of country chic cabinet profile yeah. go with a color scheme that complements that I would absolutely be painting those cabinets something light maybe a really pale blue like a nice blue gray That's nice. you can do the painting of the countertops and even painting of the backsplash exactly how I did with the the other kitchen and just the lighter colors and a more cohesive color scheme will completely change the look and feel of the space and it really is all about the feel when you're right. in a kitchen you want to feel good in the space and cook good food. You yeah. have to feel good in a space whether For you're sure. cooking or not because right? you really do spend most of the time at home in the kitchen do. like everyone do. does. That's where everybody gravitates For to. Sure. Uh, Dominique Ozeli was another picture that we got yes. uh, from one of our viewers that you picked. Why this one Leanne? Well okay this one is a classic kitchen for me. I find so many people have this. Again, oak wood cabinets yes. screaming, paint me baby, paint me, <laughs> just for a facelift. Um, again, the, the countertops in this are really neutral. She might not have to do anything with those, but mm -hmm. the backsplash was really interesting. It was a combination of tile and wood trim detail. Mm -hmm. And behind the stove, I'm just thinking, fire hazard, something's not right going down there. That's true. So in that case, you might want to take the backsplash off and that might be a redo. Mm -hmm. But for the short term, even a fresh coat of paint, kitchen for me really come down to balancing the budget. It's not always about new or um, renewed. Sometimes it's a combination of both. Okay. But the kitchen that we did was definitely a full renew. Yeah, let's talk about the kitchen yes. that you did. So uh, thank you so much for sending in those pictures. But let's talk about how much the whole thing cost to DIY my part. that kitchen. Should we how drum roll we talk? first of yeah, the let's entire drum roll thing? It. Ready so. audience? <laughs> Well, I won't give the full number away, but I spent under a thousand dollars, soup to nuts, beginning to end on that kitchen. Under a thousand dollars on a kitchen. It's 
it's almost I kind unheard of impressed of. myself. It's almost <laughs> unheard of. That's pretty incredible. So I also just need to be clear that this is all, all every product I use is a DIY product. So we're not talking labor involved because the intention oh, is right. that the homeowners would be lab doing the labor themselves. And yeah. really they're all, it was uh, products by Rust-Oleum that are all weekend projects. So you okay. can tackle your cabinets with a full kit in a weekend, countertop backsplash and get it done really effectively and really cost effectively yeah, as well. Yeah, let's go through the cost okay. breakdown. So we'll quickly go through the breakdown. So I think we're talking um, the oak cabinets first. So what I basically spent, the number on the screen is 100% true. The kit, the Rust-Oleum kit for making over cabinets is yeah. $100. Exactly so, $100. And everything that's in that kit, you have a deglosser, which can I tell you people, th that means no sanding. I did not sand Ooh, those cabinets. It's huge. a deglosser that kind of takes off the finish and then you can just put on your primer coat and your top coat that's again all in the kit. Amazing. That is amazing. So 100 bucks did all those cabinets. If we talk about doing those new versus renewed, I got quotes for every stage of this from professional installed and brand new, $5,000. It would have cost us at a bare Yay. minimum to re replace with a painted oak. We saved over, well, $4,900, right? Yeah, pretty much. Savings on, that ca on, on the cabinets. That um, is a huge difference, which huge means you savings. should That's actually look That's a vacation. Absolutely. That's maybe two for some people. Yes. I like yeah, that. Yeah, an entire family vacation. The backsplash, when we get into the backsplash now, mm -hmm. that kit alone was $180 to redo the backsplash. If we had have again looked at doing that new, approximately $1,100, and that's allowing for the tile price yeah. per square foot and the installation. There's no installation with this. You're just right? painting it. You're just painting it. Right. So again, weekend project. And then the last part, which I actually think was the most dramatic, was the countertop. Yes. Because how many of us have, like, and even myself, years ago before this product was on the market, I had a laminate countertop, and I thought, well, we're, we, we're doing a budget kitchen. We'll just replace with laminate. Well, it was a five-year plan. Had I known, I would have painted it for the five Absolutely. years to neutralize it. How it was much? 280 dollars for the countertop kit right amazing replacing it with just laminate yeah a new boring laminate um, would have been around fifteen hundred dollars so we That's saved great. about twelve hundred dollars on the countertop for there so all in with materials as well I, I, I said soup to nuts drop cloths rollers brushes um, seven hundred and eighty five dollars oh my gosh I told you that under a thousand incredible. under a thousand a little bit of elbow grease and you can do it right well we have a bit of a surprise we for do. our Twitter DIY kitchen gals Nisi and Dominique you have each won a Rust-Oleum Transformations kit valued at $560. And ladies, please, we want to see photos after you've DIY'd yes, your kitchens. Thanks for working with us. This is amazing. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up.